Hello Aquarius, welcome to Just Bird Tarot. Today we're going to do a reading for you from now until the end of December. So let's see what's going on for the sign of Aquarius um, during November until the end of December 2022. I hope all is well. Are you all prepared for the holiday? Oh, let's see. It's coming in for Aquarius. Nine of coins. So are we feeling our independence, feeling wealthy and secure, um, high value, self-assured, and confident? Very good. We have the death card could be scorpio's energy however something ended just going through change and now you're feeling the happiness very radiant um so whatever whatever had ended it seems like that's what you wanted as far as relationship you are single um because you something changed and now you're happy there's happiness and what do we have the ace of cups new love on the horizon new love for self also a commitment to family with um 10 cups combined a focus on commitment on family on um you know love nurture self nurture self love independence nine of wands another nine on the board okay so this is about endings and new beginnings you may have started something with a new love and just kind of like it came to an end quite quickly it was too challenging um and the five of cups it makes you a little bit sad feeling you know down in the dumps boo hoo hoo Didn't you see that like ah don't be sad somebody's a little bit sad because um something ended even though they're happier it's just probably that time of year so it's on the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords so somebody cut and run on someone um kind of hauled out kind of quickly could have been a betrayal or you know a trickster sneaky something sneaky going on there so let's see well let's see an overall energy here for Aquarius embracing the it's about endings and new beginnings <laughs> you know the the change the transition and finding your true happiness a healing is going on here um as things ended and there's a little bit of you know sadness maybe just feeling a bit alone um what do we have we have commander ashtar star seed space travel and galactic guides maybe this resonates for you it's the power of an eight um maybe some of you are experiencing uh you know dream states and such significant dream states i should say let's pull some oracles for you uh all right aquarius what's coming up for the sign of aquarius let's see so what are is there something that you did you for those who are not like involved in love i don't it's not much workflow here but if it is a work situation did you change jobs and you're a little bit sad about it I'm not sure um, we have sisterhood like minds so it seems like some of you will be drawn toward your friends maybe family reaching the top so attainment of course you have that with the nine of pentacles there and enlightenment um, collected thought so and we have malaise that's the, just not feeling well you're not maybe you're not feeling up for the holidays you know just a overall sense of you know not feeling well uh, about things so there's a little bit of malaise and we have the sisterhood right and that's like mine so you'll be you know communing with people uh, like you and then we have attainment and reaching the top so if you know things may have gotten challenging or something for you you're still embarking on new adventures and you're reaching your goals especially financially you're reaching financial goals did i put that i said this was family right i put a cup and the coins together and said that was family it's a new beginning but it could be family either way um 
but a new beginning. And it could be a new career start for some of you um, that's going to pan out. It's just uh, maybe there's a little bit of, I'm not feeling so well. Um, things have been challenging. I think there's just been a lot of work to do. And it, it's like heavy work, <laughs> you know, where it's to a point of exhaustion and a state of uh, like depletion with this malaise and just discontent, you know. And then we have enlightenment, collected thought. So there we go. And we have mishap on the bottom of the depths, um, bottom of the deck. And it says egg on your face. So somebody's wearing egg on their face. You know, maybe somebody was a little bit too big for their britches or something. And then nostalgia. So maybe that's where this little bit of um, sadness comes in. You know, remembering when or blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. All that good stuff, right? Let's see what this deck has to offer. My sweet romance decks. Uh, let's see if there's any love messages for the sign of Aquarius. Those who may be in a relationship or in love. Or searching for love. Let's see. Aquarius. Oh, that one wants to stick. Speak your mind. Long-term relationship and move in with me. Somebody is thinking... You know, put a ring on it. That's what that one says. And then we have love of a lifetime. So some of you are really embracing something, you know, um, here. We have speak your mind. Speak your mind. So if you want to get married, it's time. It's time to say, like, put a ring on it. I want to get married. Stand up for yourself. And if this is a relationship or a workshop or something, you know, um, make sure you speak up. Um, long-term relationship somebody wants to move in move this along get married <laughs> which is contradictory to what's going on up here but there is new love but it may already be becoming challenging and then love of a lifetime so move in with me and love of a lifetime so there's potential Right? For a long-term relationship, marriage, possible marriage, if that's what you're interested in. Let's pull some of these. I'll just pull two of these. More messages for the sign of Aquarius from now until the end of December. Um, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Lots of responsibilities. That's why there's the malaise. That's why there's just like, you know, a feeling of um, discord. Um, like a baby in a boxcar. Well, if you're dealing with an airhead, you know, or someone that's not making a whole lot of sense, I'd be running around like a chicken with my head cut off too, because like, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, let's pull some of these magical intuition, significant messages for the sign of Aquarius. Um, from now until the end of December, what did this, this deck have to offer for the sign of Aquarius? Ooh, 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 ooh. It's almost your time, Aquarius. Let's see. Commitment, stability, engagement. Again, just reiterating that. I don't if this is a desire, a want, a need. What is it? Um, so lonely, drowning my feelings in liquor. Oh, are we? <laughs> Did we spill the vodka? <laughs> Oh, it's rum chata all over the floor. What's going on? We have craving a bond so deep. Even with my family, I never felt at home. You feel like home to me. Oh, so for some of you, it really is just, you know, come on camera, can we focus? Whatever, it is what I say, <laughs> the words. There we go, we'll pull Let's just pull a couple of these for you here, Aquarius. Um, the box up above is just me shuffling the cards and prepping the decks for the day. I do that to save time so I'm not over here shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. We have foundation. We have lonesome. Somebody is lonely. And then we have season greetings. So I do feel this is like the winter blues. You know, um, maybe missing, longing, wanting something, someone. Um, could be just 
just reminiscent of times gone by or um, remembering those who have passed you know everything that the holidays have to offer so we're feeling a little bit left out and lonesome here which is okay because actually like this new love may be challenging right now and there may be a lot of work that needs to be put into it but it could be one that lasts a lifetime um, and you're just craving this bond like you want that to be right now you know so you're feeling a little bit lonesome and then we have altercations so there could have been a spat that's why maybe crying over spilled milk or something you know there could have been some altercations um with someone over an ending over anything you know it doesn't matter and it could be you know here's your foundation so work on your foundation but this could also be indicative of family um that there could have been like altercations within your foundation uh meaning with your close-knit family friends kind of deal and you're feeling a little bit um out of sorts let's see we'll pull a couple of karma cards just to see what these have to add is there any karma okay that you need to look out for backfired 10 times negative energy put out returns karma self-sabotage dose of your own medicine shocked confused judgment and justice this may ring true for some of you you let me know if you're experiencing any of these things it could be um karma you could have self-sabotaged right out of here but this looks more indicative of this energy here where somebody may have um like a cheating scenario however and it could have been if somebody stole money from work or from if you were a leader a boss um in management somebody may have you know lied to you or cheated the company out of some funds or materials ideas you name it if they could if a thief can take it they will <laughs> you know so and whatever it is um negative energy so if you were a person that put out a bunch of a lot of negative energy it could really come back and you'll get a dose of your own medicine so if you put out good energy just know that goodness will come back to you as well and don't self-sabotage you know um try not to to sabotage things when things are going well and put them to an end as soon as they begin because you went through some changes and something else had ended and you're just kind of healing from that um and then embarking on something new and putting it and that comes to an end you know like spending a little bit of time but then when it starts to get to that point where you're asking like where is this going you withdraw and it backfires you know because of the self-sabotage you know and it leaves you in this state of confusion or you know just you know a mess i will say <laughs> leave you like this you know so that's what i have for you dear aquarius for now until the end of december enjoy your holiday spend time with family be kind ciao